So all I've done since the last video is I've added all the text to my shapes and I didn't want you to have to sit there and watch me typing tediously the text in every single shape. But having added all the text, there are a couple of shapes that I had to increase the size of um, and you'll discover that as you do the exercise. So some of the shapes we had to make larger to accommodate the text. But what I want to do now is come back to the connectors. When I was adding the connectors to between various shapes, there were some connectors I couldn't create. And I'm going to take this one as a particular example. I'm going to click on this diamond. When we create a connector between two shapes, it goes from connection point to connection point. So when I want to create a connection between these two shapes, I've got a connection point here on the left hand side of this decision shape. And when I click on this process shape, I've got a connection point on the right hand side. So I can connect these two shapes by these connection points. Trouble is, what I have to do is create two lines, one going from this part of the process to this part of the decision, and this part of the process to this part of the decision, and I don't have connection points to connect with. Now this is actually a topic that's later on in your notes, so you'll have to look for a heading in your notes that says adding connection points to a shape, and that'll describe how you create your own connection points above and beyond these default ones that you're given. But I want to show you now. So I'm just going to increase my zoom by hitting my zoom in button so I can clearly see these two shapes. And I'll just scroll a little bit and down a little bit. So I can clearly see these two shapes that I'm working with. The connection point tool is on the home tab in the ribbon and it's in the tools group and it's called connection point. What it does as it describes here is it adds, moves or delete connection points on shapes. And if you hold the control key and click where you want to add, move or delete, you can control your connection points. So I'm going to click this button here. What I'd like to do is create a connection point on this shape of my own. So I hold the control key and using probably the grid, I'm going to click here and I've just created a connection point and it appears in magenta. And I'll create an adjacent connection point on this shape opposite this connection point. So I've created two connection points of my own. I'd also like to add another connection point probably about here and another one adjacent about here. So you just hold the control key and you create additional connection points to make your own connector lines. So now what I can do is I can go to the connector tool in my home tab in the ribbon and I can start creating connections between this point and this point that I just created. So I'm going to drag from this point to this point. Now what it does is it actually gives me a line longer than I need <clears throat> and I'll rectify that shortly. And I'm going to go and drag from this connection point to this connection point. And there's my other connector. If I then go back to my pointer tool, I can click on this particular connector, grab the left corner, the left um, corner and adjust it so it's only this wide. And I'll click on this connector, drag the left corner and resize it so it's only that wide. And I've created the two arrows that I need between those two shapes. And if I hit my zoom in control, or zoom out I should say, I can clearly see I have the connections I now need between those two shapes. Now another part of this diagram that needs an extra connection point is this shape here. It has a line going from this shape up, but it needs another line and a separate line from this shape up also and connecting at a different point. So what I'm going to do is click on this particular shape and zoom in, or zoom, sorry, zoom in so I can clearly see. Just scroll over a little and down a little. Okay, so now I'm going for my connection point um, tool and I'm now going to click about here with the control key down and I've created another connection point. I'll then click my connector. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm going to create another connection point. I'm just following this grid down to this shape here and I'll create a connection point about here. And now I'll go to my connector and I'll go from this point to this point. And I've created another line. So if you need to connect two shapes and you need to create additional connection points, that's the purpose of this particular tool here. And now I can hit my pointer tool and zoom in, out. So I can see my whole diagram. I guess the last thing I need to do now is add any connection text. So I'm going to click on this line here, for example, and I'm going to add the text. Yes. I'll click on this line here 
and add the text no. This one here, this one here, over here, and just keep adding any connector text that's required. And that is pretty much my diagram created. So I'll go back to my pointer tool. And that's a very, very busy cross-functional flowchart diagram.